And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. On first down, it's Tannehill. A dump off here for Gore. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And his throw here's incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant, and it's third and short. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Lady! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. The five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. He dumps it off to Drake. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. To throw on second down is Tannehill. And over the middle, this is Parker. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Let's go hustle, fellas. On first and goal, Drake. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Kenyon Drake punching it in from a yard away. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Sanders now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Give to Jones, and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Here's Jones, he finds some open field here, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 
It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This is Jones. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's Winston. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down, Winston. Going up top. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Working out of the gun, Winston. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Jameis now on first down. And he's got his tight end, Howard. It's a Buccaneer touchdown. Jameis Winston with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Extra point good by Catanzaro. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. 
That's it for the first half. Two more. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Now on first down, Drake again. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. five out of the scramble it's second down how about a tip of the cap to the defense they're working against a very mobile quarterback but all day long they've kept him under wraps and on that play they held him to a short gain on play action Tannehill and Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. Well, you know, you can't get all the points back at once, but baby steps a good start. A start that was sorely needed because this team looked like they might be out of this one. But getting a touchdown, getting back into it, gives them hope as they move forward. Sanders now to kick this one away. Jackson now to return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. And yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. On second down, Winston again. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. He's got it at the 15. Winston to his big play receiver, Jackson. 55 yards. Not the tallest receiver on the field, but he just shouted to admit that the little guy can't go downfield and make a big-time catch on a deep pass because sometimes they'll just out-scrap you for the football. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And they try to sweep the Jones. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. In on the stop defensively, Raquan McMillan. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Now a second down throw for Winston. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. I can't believe I'm saying this, but in today's NFL, I wouldn't want to play defense. Too many great receivers and guys who are accurate who can get them the ball. We've seen the result days like this one. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20! Tannehill on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Grant. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. An attempt at a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Hey, hey, 20, 20, 20, 20. Clay, Clay. They are going for it. It's Tannehill. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Vernon Hargraves with a pick. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Parker unable to get that one. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Back now in Miami. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Again, it's Jones. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Ronald Jones, 25 yards to the house. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. 
extra point up and good by Catanzaro. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here comes Grant on the return. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Tannehill and the Dolphins break the huddle. Come up first and 10 at their own 27. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Incomplete. This is Alvin Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. He goes underneath the drain. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be a second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Levante David. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very right, careful about what speed they're okay. going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. But what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Jameis to throw it. He's got Evans. And he's got this down to the 35. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Let's go now. When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I'll guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. And a solid run down inside the 30. They'll get six on the play, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. They'll go again to Jones. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Cordray Tankersley on the stop defensively. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. And I don't quite know what's happening here. It's a first down, but the field goal team is out onto the field. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The return man is Grant. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And that one almost intercepted. 
far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. Try and get it all back with one big shot right there, but even if successful, that doesn't get them all the way back to where they need to be. Can't totally abandon throwing the ball underneath as well. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And it's caught by Parker. Devontae Parker. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on, we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. 50-50. The toss running left. It's Drake, and they will not get the two points here, but it wouldn't have mattered anyways. And that will be the final snap of the ball game. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.